Good morning, everyone. We're continuing here in the words of the Toyme Devora, Mida Tess, the ninth attribute out of thirteen. The Sashlech be Mitzulos Yom Kol Chatoisam, Hakadosh Baruch will cast all their sins away of the Jewish people into the depths of the sea. We began yesterday discussing this idea that a person sins, and Hakadosh Baruch Hu can take away those sins, and we're not going to be held accountable for them depending on the level of tshuva that we do. And the reason for the way that HaKadosh Baruch Hu runs the world like this is because of like we said yesterday. When it comes to Yom Kippur, and there is the Sar Mishtalech, there is the one goat that carries away all the sins, Uperushoi. It means that the goat actually carries away our sins. This is hard to understand. Claudius does a sin, and then we're not held accountable. It's going to go on the on the head. It's going to go on the shoulders of the goat over here. Rather, this midah, this attribute is such. When a person confesses. The Kavanosai Bevidu the Kabbal of Tahara and his whole intention when he's confessing is he wants to become pure. King Shahmar David, like King David says in Tehillim, Herev Kabsani Mavoini. David Amalak says, Please cleanse me from my transgressions. Mechinuam Amreinu, and we say also at the end of the Yom Kippish Monesre, Mikhaik Barachamecha Harabim which means erased, erase what I sinned in front of you in your great mercy. Just erase it, HaKadosh Baruch Hu. I'm doing tshuva, I'm being mizvanda, I'm confessing, I have charata, I feel bad. You just erase the sins. A person's tefillah, his prayer is that whatever punishment he's deserving of should be light, so it should not interfere with his learning of Torah. Like we say at the very end of the Ashamnu of the Vidui, that even if you have to make me suffer, HaKadosh Baruch Hu, it should not be through bad suffering, because bad suffering is going to make it very difficult. What a chutzpah, says the time of the Vora. How do you have the right to start telling HaKadosh Baruch Hu how he should decide to punish you, how he should decide to deal with you? And the answer seems to be, as he's writing over here, is that since that I'm doing tshuva and I'm showing our Kodesh Baruch that I want to come back to him, and I regret that which I did wrong, so I'm ab- absolving and I'm stripping myself of the sins and the blemishes that it left upon me, and therefore our Kodesh Baruch can judge me as a different person. Like we say also, at the end of our vidui, at the end of the confessional, on Yom Kippur, you are Kodesh Baruch, you are the Tzadik, you are just and righteous in everything that befalls me. Mamish, who Mekabu Yusur and Besev upon him, Yafaz, these Kapir. That means that he's accepting the suffering with willingness, the Kapir to be uh, adjudicated or to be atoned from all of his sins. Because there are sins which can only be expunged, they can only be taken away from, taken away from a person through suffering or death. So there's two things going on over here, it sounds like from the term of the var. Number one, there's the the big goal is that a person does so much tshuva and everything works out so much in his favor that HaKadosh Baruch Hu literally takes his sins, removes them from him and puts it onto something else. In Yom Kippur it was, they took it on the, on the sire, they put it on the goat, that goat went out into the wilderness, thrown down the mountain onto the rocks, it gets killed, its death is a kapara, is an atonement for all of Klal Yisra. I can get rid of my sins altogether. And the second thing is that even if I need a certain amount of kapara, atonement for that which I've done wrong, so HaKadosh Baruch let's make a deal. And I'll bargain with you that in the schos, in the merit of my tshuva, in the merit that I confess, that I have a charata, that I feel bad. 
So therefore, you're going to downgrade the punishments that, that are going to come as a result of the sins that I perform. Meaning, I'm not going to get the most severe punishment. I'm not going to get destroyed. You're going to cast my sins into the depths of the sea. And the little bit that you have to do, because you can't just let me get away scot-free, that little bit, that's about all I'll take, because I don't want to, I don't want to disrupt my learning. I don't want to upset my mitzvah observance. I don't want it to get in the way of my steiging of my growing. And therefore, says the time of the Vara, a person could lower and decrease the punishments that they might truly deserve through the advent of tshuva of coming back to Hashem. Have a wonderful day.